In this video we'll explore how to enhance the density and contrast of a photo using my density and contrast macros. Stick around to see how it works and don't forget to grab the macro collection from the link in the description. Before diving into the macros let's take a look at the foundation blocks of the macros. We start off with an invert adjustment and put this in soft light blend mode. This will produce a nice flat image, basically increasing the luminosity and decreasing the saturation without losing the color. When we now group this adjustment and change the blend mode of the group to overlay or soft light, we get an image with more density and contrast. Another way we can achieve a similar effect is using a curves adjustment. On the left image I'll add a curves adjustment and then modify the begin and the end point of the curve so that we get a flat image. When we set the blend mode of the curves adjustment to overlay or soft light we get a pretty much the same result. Even though the end results look almost the same, the invert method will produce richer colors without affecting the lightness on bright areas. Another variation to increase contrast with less saturation is by using two invert adjustments. I'll add them to the left image. On the first invert we'll apply the multiply blend mode and change the blend range so that it only applies to the darker areas. On the second invert adjustment we'll use the screen blend mode but this time on the blend range we'll use the opposite range. This invert in screen blend mode will apply to the highlights. As you can see, this also creates a very flat image. When we group the two invert adjustments and change the blend mode of the group to soft light, we get a very similar result again. But notice how this result does not boost the colors. So enough theory, let's quickly go through the macros. Most of the macros are a variation of the methods I showed earlier. The download link for the macro collection will be in the description. We have 7 variations of the contrast density increasing macros. The first one has a very gentle increase and as we apply the other ones you can see that they have different behaviors. The first 6 are group adjustments and we'll work on anything below them. Number 7, we'll use duplicates and make sure to use this on an image or pixel layer. Next we have 2 macros which increase contrast. There is a dark version and a light version. I also included a couple of color increasing macros, which depending on your image can really boost your colors. Recently I did a video explaining how to boost your colors and the color boost macro in this library applies to this method. Link for that video will be in the description too. In the library there are some color grading macros which I think you will like. One of them is the warm look, which works especially well for skin. You can either mask this with a custom mask on the skin, but there is also a version which already has an HSL mask applied to it. Let me switch to another document to show the macros on a different document. As you can see they work quite well and don't forget that you can dim down the effects by lowering the opacity of the created groups. Here is the warm skin with HSL mask applied. We can double click on the HSL mask to fine tune it, so that it will only get applied to the skin. Click on the preview checkbox to see the mask. Now we can adjust the color wheel region where we try to get as much of the skin area. The areas of white will be the area where the warm colors will be applied to. This looks about right. Once we turn off the preview we can see how this affects the image. Here it is without the adjustment and when we turn back on the group notice the change in the skin color, which just gives that nice warm look. These macros are ideal for images which feel flat like this image. Notice how the image gets more pop because of increase in contrast and color density. You can also combine and stack these groups on top of each other to get really nice results. I also included a black and white check macro. When applied, the oversaturated areas will be highlighted in color. In this example, notice how a part of the arm is being clipped. When we also zoom in to the face of the girl, we can even see more areas being clipped. 
To fix that, we can add a curves adjustment just below the black and white group and adjust the curve to get rid of the clipped areas. Here is another image. I'll apply the color boost and density macros with a contrast macro. Let's check the result by applying the black and white check macro. Notice how the red and the yellows are showing up as being oversaturated. Let's fix that by applying an HSL adjustment this time below the black and white check group. I'll select the red and decrease the saturation so that the reds disappear. Let's also do the same with the yellow. That looks pretty good. Let's turn off the black and white check layer and toggle the HSL layer to see its effect. The image looks much more natural with the HSL adjustment enabled. If you have my clipping warning assets, you could also use the tonal clipping asset and see what else gets clipped. In this case, we can see that because of the added contrast, the dark areas in the image are being clipped. We can use the HSL adjustment we added earlier to fix that. Select the all color circle and lower the saturation a tiny bit until the red warnings go away. Let's take a quick look at the before and the after. Pretty awesome. Just for fun, let's quickly use the macros on this image. As you see, each of them has a different result and some work better than others. That's why I included multiple variants. Just experiment and see what works for your image. If you have applied the mask and warming macro, don't forget to adjust the HSL mask so that only the skin area is shown in white while previewing. Here is an example of what you can do with the macros. I have a gentle contrast density increase combined with a color increase followed by the warming group from the library. As these adjustments impacted the hair color, I added a selective color adjustment to fix the hair color. I'm guessing the guy doesn't have purple hair. Again, in this image, by just applying and stacking the macros, we can get pretty nice results. One final macro in the set is the subtractive oversaturation fix. I did a video on this in the past and with this macro you can fix oversaturated images using the subtract blend mode. When you apply this macro you probably will get a black image with the oversaturated colors coming through, which in this image are the yellows. If the result is all black then there are no oversaturated colors. We can use this group to fix the oversaturation. First we need to make a duplicate of the image by pressing Command or Ctrl J then move the group as a child layer to the duplicate and change the blend mode of the duplicate to subtract. This will subtract the oversaturated colors from the image. The difference is very subtle and if you focus on the yellows you can clearly see the difference. I'll leave a link to the original video if you're interested in how this works. Once we have our fixed image we can use the macros to enhance the image to our liking and don't forget that you can fine tune the adjustments by adjusting the opacity of the created groups. I hope you like this set of macros and this video. Thanks again for tuning in and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And by the way, if you like my assets, please consider buying me a coffee. See you in the next video.